Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, thank you very much for providing me this opportunity to share my research work on this platform. I, Bhavna Sharma, presenting my work on green synthesis of gum tragacanth cross-linked poly and then dimethyl acrylamide based reduced graphene oxide hydrogen composite for adsorption of mercury and chromium ions from aqueous solution. Let us start with the contents, which includes problem identification and solution, research methodology, and last result and discussion. Due to the civil and industrial anthropogenic activities, a large amount of waste has been generated, which affects the water resources by materializing processes like volatilization and leaching. These toxic ions get exposed to human system via number of pathways, which includes food intake, water consumption, ingestion, and last dermal contact, which affects the human health as well as the aquatic life. Now, what's the solution? Well, we are with the solution, which includes the synthesis of gum dragon based hydrogel for the adsorption of mercury and chromium ions. Next is our research methodology, which includes a con con we have conducted a quantitative research, which is basically an experimental methodology. As for the synthesis of hydrogen, we performed the microwave assisted route, which is actually a green synthesis because. It includes green solvents like water and for adsorption, batch adsorption experiments were performed. And for the detection of metal ions, UV spectrophotometer has been used. Next is our swelling study. In this study, we found that our samples has better swelling percentage than the other reported samples. Next is our synthesis and optimization. For a typical synthesis, we took a small quantity of, of our polysaccharide, basically half a gram of GT, and then it mixed with the optimized amount of solvent. And for your information, we optimized the seven different parameters, which includes initiator concentration, reaction time, amount of solvent, microwave power, monomer concentration, cross-linker concentration, and last amount of RGO. After mixing both polysaccharides and solvent, we mix the system with optimized quantity of initiator, crosslinker, and monomer. After mixing all components of the system, we expose the mixture inside the microwave radiations for 90 seconds. And after 90 seconds, a jelly-like material was formed, as we clearly see in this picture. Now comes to characterization part. In FTIR, five major peaks were appeared. The first peak at 3358 corresponds to the OH stretching mode. Then peak at 2910 corresponds to the stretching vibrations of aliphatic TH bond. The successful cross-linking of polyDMA is confirmed by the peaks at 1608 and 1410. Which, which corresponds to the stretching vibration of a mild group of DMA. And last, peak at 1048 corresponds to the CO bending vibrations. The shifting of these peaks in case of metal loaded sample confirms the successful interaction of metal ions with the active sites of the adsorbent. Next is our X ray diffraction pattern. In this study, in case of RGO, peak at 2, two theta value of 24.3 degree confirms the successful formation of RGO with a despacing value of 0.367 nanometers, which was calculated by using Bragg's law. And peak at 43.6 theta value is the finger mark of graphite. In case of GT, characteristic peak at 22.9 degree confirms the semi-crystalline nature of polysaccharide. This crystalline nature get reduced to amorphous nature in case of our GTCL polyDMA, which is our hydrogen, because of the shifting of peak at 26.2 degree. And in case of hydrogen composite, characteristic peak at 24.4 confirms the <coughs> presence of RGO in the system. Next is our scanning electron microscopic analysis, which in this analysis, uh, figure A is the SAM image of 
RGO, which can which shows the aggregated wrinkle structure of the RGO. Next is our hydrogel, which shows a smooth, porous, and compact surface. Next is our hydrogel composite, which has rough, irregular surface and a reduced structure. Next is EDS study, which is basically an elemental study, which shows that which shows the successful adsorption of metal ions inside the hydrogel matrix and in case of composites um, high value of or high weight percent of carbon confirms the successful incorporation of RGO inside the hydrogen. Next is our adsorption performance which includes adsorption kinetics and isotherm, adsorption mechanism and last effect of pH. The kinetic study is correlated with the pseudo first order, pseudo second order and intraparticle diffusion kinetic models and we found that R square value was much higher for the pseudo second order which confirms CAMS option. The isotherm study is correlated with the Langmuir and Prandtlich isotherms and we found that Langmuir isotherm model was better suited for the adsorption of mercury and chromium ions means you know, their adsorption is there. Here is our comparison table, which shows comparison of different adsorbents with prepared hydrogels. And we found that adsorption capacity of our sample is much better than the other reported samples. And from here, we can also see that the adsorption of mercury ions is much higher than the adsorption of chromium ions. Next is the effect of pH. This figure shows the possible interactions of mercury and chromium ions with the sample. And in case of mercury, adsorption of mercury ion increased with the increase in pH from 1.5 to 5.5 and then decreased with the, dec with the increase in pH from 5.5 to 9.5 because at low pH there is a competition between the H plus ion and Hg2 plus ion which leads to the decrease in the adsorption and at high pH there is decrease in the H plus concentration that is why adsorption gets increased. In case of chromium, maximum adsorption was found at pH value of 3.5. This is because uh, according to chromium speciation, HCRO4 negative species present at pH value of 3.5. So due to this species, there is an electrostatic interaction between the chromium ions and, uh, and our sample. And that is why adsorption is more at this pH level. This is the relationship between the adsorption and swelling. As we can see in this graph, with the increase in swelling percentage, there is increase in the adsorption percentage, which means adsorption percentage is directly proportional to the swelling percentage. Next is our reusability study. Well, we have performed reusability study up to five cycles and we found that uh, adsorption percentage is better in the fifth cycle also and adsorption of mercury is much higher than the chromium ion. At last is our conclusion. Microwave assisted technique is better suited for the optimization of hydrogen. Swelling percentage of hydrogen strongly influence the sorption capacity as we can Discuss, as we discussed in the previous slide and based on the Q max value prepared hydrogel are more inclined towards the metal adsorption. Thank you. Any questions?